Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Tornado from Sugar Bites here. Yes, the incredible, amazing effects is now AUV3, but only AUV3. They've dropped support for Audio Bus and Interapp Audio because they believe that AUV3 is the way to go, as do many people, uh, apparently so. Um, however, I do still use Audio Bus and Interapp Audio, but I do use AUV3 a lot as well. And Tornado is an incredible, incredible effects unit machine. It's just superb. Now, this being an AUV3, you can imagine, I'm not going to do this now, but you can imagine you're going to be able to automate all sorts of stuff, aren't you? Now, LFO, oh, it's going to be mad. But we're just going to do a quick uh, quick play with the thing and have a, have a quick blast with the effects and stuff. So, excuse me, my cold is still bad. Okay, so let's see how I've got this routed up. So Synthmaster 1 here um, is linked to the actual uh, keyboard in AUM and my Oxygen keyboard as well. Uh, XOX is playing Groove Maker as per usual for me. And so that's just basically open an XOX and Rosetta Suite and then you can route Groove Maker to the XOX and when you press the transport it will play. And then I have an Accent 2 because it self-generates and runs. Um, yeah, that's just basically not rooted to anything and it's just running, but it has a tornado effect in there. Okay, so let's see. Now, there's no effect, actually. If we look at this, resizing is beautiful on this as well. Look at that. Look, look it's all there. But let's make it a bit bigger so we can see. Oops, there we go. Uh, okay. So... Um, I've got everything turned down for this uh, sound. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to engage that there because it's the only way I can find to actually hold Synthmaster 1. I couldn't find a hold on the actual synth. It doesn't matter. It's an AUV3, does it? So engage that little there and do this. And then we'll, uh, I'm going to close the microphone and just have a blast with some of these. It's just amazing.
So there you go. Who wouldn't want Tornado as an AUV3? So just, I mean, you can see what you can do, right? Just quickly, you can basically, you don't need to, you can just tap at the edge here to go through the different presets and stuff that's inside. If we go to edit, if you're in the looper now, but there's all these other presets inside the looper for the looper, if you know what I mean. So like for pitch delay, you could just go in there and just have a, a mess around with some of the cool stuff that the pitch delay does. For it, I mean, let's get on to a, let's see. Let's get rid of that one. And let's, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll change the sound as well. Let's, um, let's browse to a, something. Put a close that now. Put a tornado in raw. The let's see. Okay. It's also listed under MIDI effect as well, so you know that's cool. So this is the default patch that we go to. So like I was saying, for this particular effect, you could scroll through its various presets or this one. Tornado is a brilliant, a brilliant, brilliant effects machine. It's just, it's incredible what you can do, the the depth you can just you can randomize. You never know what you're gonna get, you know. And to change out any particular effect, you just basically grab hold of it and uh, swap it in. And of course the editing as well for each effect. You can auto, look, you see you can automate even within the app itself, you know, it's brilliant. Listen, guys, I've got to go. Um, thanks for watching. I'll put links in the description for Tornado, and I guess a lot of people already have it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. If you liked it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, because it'll be coming a page, and I will see you guys later. Ta-ta.